Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk a little bit about the concept of a Homeric simile. So here we have an example of the earliest one in our copy of the Odyssey in our textbook. What are the two things being compared? As you look at this, you notice the first thing it's talking about is a gull, a seagull. And what it's doing is patrolling or flying between the wave crest, the sea, and it'll even dip to catch a fish and douse its wings, meaning it's flying very, very low. Being compared to that, of course, in this case is the god Hermes. And what is he doing? Flying, just like the seagull's flying. How is he flying? Well, he's flying no higher than the seagull flew. So, thus, we are comparing Hermes to the gull. Something familiar with something new. Now, pardon me if this seems kind of silly, but let's go ahead and give ourselves a blank slide and see if we can picture this. This idea of the wave crests, this idea of the white caps, and Hermes flying through them. So, if I make a new slide, let's pretend that Mr. Gale has some artistic ability, which I really don't. But here we go, I have a wave and another wave. And as you all learned in elementary school, the correct way to draw a bird is like this. And the bird is flying between the wave crests and it see down there, sees down there a fish. And the bird decides it wants to catch the fish. So what does it do? It dives down to catch the fish out of the water, even allowing itself to get wet. What does this show us? That the god Hermes is kind of playful. He loves to fly low and he likes to perhaps get his feet wet. So, ladies and gentlemen, in a way, if we add one more slide, what have we got going on here? Hermes is like a gull who likes to fly low. You like my slant rhyme? Go flying low. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our quick look at a Homeric simile. I hope it was helpful. Thanks so much.